Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. This is Marilyn Gale. Before I get started with Sisters Episode 8, Part 2, I'd like to invite anyone who has not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do that now and click that notification bell. Now, I'm going to start with Tyler Perry's Sister Series, Episode 8, Part 2. Now, this episode begins with the cleaning lady coming into Andy's office saying there's a man in the lobby to see her. Guys, it's Gary. Andy walks out to the lobby and tells Gary that he shouldn't be there. He shouldn't be here. It's late, and I didn't think anyone would be here, and you didn't return my calls. Gary, this is a bad idea. Just tell me when you're coming home. I'm going out with the girls tonight. You know I can go to a hotel if I'm invading your space, Andy. There's some P.I. There's a P.I. that's checking your every move. We can just tell them I'm looking for a divorce attorney. Gary, can you just hear yourself? I'll come home when I'm done. Then we can talk. Yeah. Hmm. I love you, says Gary. And Andy says nothing. Gary goes in to kiss her. You know this office has cameras, Gary. Then he leaves. Guys, watch out for those Garys. Selfish and hard-headed and has no concern for anyone but themselves. So Andy phones rings and she tells the caller she's on her way. It's Sabrina who's on the other line. She's at the night spot by herself and tells Andy to hurry up. The next scene shows Sabrina sitting at the table, sipping her wine and waiting for the girls. Then this guy approaches her. Guys, he's walking sideways. You know the walk. You know the type of guy. Hey there, are you sitting here by yourself? I'm waiting for my boyfriend, actually. He's a police officer. He arrests criminals and bank robbers and drug addicts. But that didn't seem to bother him because he helped himself to the chair next to her and he just sits down. I'm a black man, he says. And I'm a white woman. He laughs. Now, that's funny. That's hilarious, right? I'm sorry. Would you excuse me? These seats are taken. Do you want me to leave? (laughs) You think? Okay, well, here's my card. So Sabrina reads the card. A singer, she says, not impressed at all. Yeah, R&B, blues, I'm a trainer. They call me the singing trainer. So call me. I'll sing you sexier. So he walks away singing, doo-doo-wop, baby. And Karen looks at him walk away and instantly calls Danny, but reaches her voicemail. She leaves a message asking Danny, where the hell is she? Y'all need to hurry up. Y'all leave me here on Freaky Friday by myself. Guys, you do not go anywhere by yourself where the theme is Freaky Friday or Freaky whatever day it is. Even if you have to pick up your friends so you don't walk in by yourself. You know the freaks come out, especially at night. Then you wonder why a freak come to your table. Because he's a freak. That's his job. He's doing what he do. You look like easy pickings being alone by yourself. So at least... With the girls, you can protect each other. Freaks may not approach you if you're four girls deep. But one, yeah, you look like easy, desperate pickings. Okay, so Sabrina calls Karen and tells her to hurry up. Because if she gets hit on by one more gold tooth, I'm on my way, Karen. Leaves out of the house and Carter's wife is outside right by her car. Sabrina is still on the line, so she's hearing everything. And the wife is very drunk and tells Karen she will pay her to leave Carter alone. 
Although Karen has told her Carter and her are not together, mind you, Sabrina is still on the phone listening. So Karen tells her if she doesn't get away from her car, she's going to hit her. So Miss Carter leaves. <laughs> A drunk coward. And she didn't even she didn't even say uh, asked her any more questions. She just left. So Karen then calls Carter and he asked her, Well, have you learned how to speak to people? And Karen says, Yes, sir, I have. Sir? Uh-huh. And I have a question. Can you tell that crazy ass bee of a wife that if she ever show up to my job or house again, I'm going to beat the bee down and Karen hangs the, up the phone on him. Now, the next scene, Andy passes by the conference room and the elderly cleaning lady has passed out in a chair. It looks like she's not breathing. So Andy calls 911. Now, the scene changes to the nice spot where all the girls are t to meet and Danny shows up and she doesn't look happy. Danny says she needs a drink. Peach vodka. Did you bring some? Says Sabrina. So I guess Danny is used to bringing her own drink. No, I got it. Now, you know, it's about 30 times more expensive here. I said I got it, Sabrina. Danny asks Sabrina what she thinks about her. Now, y'all remember Zach. In his highness, told Danny the girls were talking about her behind her back. Zach and his messy boots. Sabrina tells Danny, I think you're cool. I think you're cool as hell. I love you. You think I'm a freeloader? Huh? Answer me. Well, you can be a little heavy-handed when it comes to somebody else's bill. Danny confronts Sabrina about Karen and Andy talking about her. While she's talking to Sabrina, a guy walks up to the table and he addresses Sabrina. Now, Danny asks the guy to buy her a drink and tells him, Why get to know her when you can get to know me? So Danny gets up and goes off with the stranger to his table. Now, Sabrina is dumbfounded and can't believe what Danny just did. Not that she's interested in the guy, but that is not Danny's style to bogart like that. Now, clearly, Danny is hurt because she feels betrayed by her good friends that she thought cared about her. The next scene, Karen calls Andy and tells her Carter and his wife are coming out of the woodwork, coming to her job and her home. At that time, Andy is in the hospital. Remember, Andy found the cleaning lady was unconscious at her office in the conference room. The hospital staff revives the elderly lady and Andy calls her grandson to let him know his grandmother was in the hospital. Andy asked Karen to pick her up at the hospital. Karen said, OK, I'm on my way. Now, I suppose she rode an ambulance with the cleaning lady after the call. Now, the grandson comes rushing down the hospital corridor and goes to the nurse's station to inquire about his grandmother. And he tells the nurse her name is Irene Johnson. The nurse comes, uh, shows him where the room is right across from the station. And then the nurse comes out and tells Annie, Andy, that Mrs. Johnson wants to see her. Looks like the grandmother wants Andy to meet her grandson. Now, ladies, he's good looking. Him and his bald head. I'm just saying. Is it too early to say bye, Gary? Boy, bye. I hope so. Now, the grandmother explains to her grandson that Andy saved her life. Miss Irene Johnson asks her grandson to take Andy home, then come back and get her. Andy tells Miss Irene, the grandmother, that she has a ride. And the grandmother tells Andy, I'm sorry, the grandson tells Andy to avoid an argument with his grandmother. He would just take her home. Now, as Andy and the grandson is leaving, Andy explains her friend is coming to get her. And he asks Andy, could he take her home? He doesn't mind. He appreciates her helping his grandmother and he would be honored to take her home. 
and the, so the grandson introduces himself to Andy. Guys, his name is Paris. Gitchy, gitchy, ya, ya, da, da, mocha, chocolata, ya, ya. Mm-hmm. So Andy calls Karen and tells her she has arrived. The next scene, Karen gets to the night spot where Sabrina has been sitting there long because Danny is still with Mr. Whoever he is. And Karen asks Sabrina, where's Danny? So Sabrina explains that she's over there mad about something. About what? The hell if I know. It's okay. She'll tell us she always does. So Karen then tells Sabrina, Carter and his wife is showing up at her job and her house because both of them are bat crazy. And he went off on me for going off on Zach. So Karen orders a drink and sees Danny and waves at her. And Danny sees Karen and gives her the finger. You know, she flipped her off. She tells Sabrina, You know, Danny needs to stop smoking that weed. Now the next scene, Andy and Paris, the grandson, is riding to her house in the car. And Andy is thanking Paris for the ride. And he thanks her for helping his grandmother. He tells her that his grandmother mentioned her and that she seems to know all about her. So evidently from her trash can and they both laugh. So Paris tells Andy his grandmother was right that she is beautiful for a cross-eyed girl. What? He, He says, I'm just joking. So since you know me so well, what color are my eyes? And he says, Hazel. Hmm, you notice. So he asked her, what color am I? And he and she says, brown. Well, yeah, that was easy because I'm black. Well, so am I, says Andy. So Paris tells Andy his grandmother is always trying to hook him up. Usually with the ladies in church. Andy tells him that she goes to church and there's a ton of beautiful ladies at church. And he tells her, yeah, but the church she brings home ain't beautiful ones. Now, that's cold, Paris. So Andy tells him, you have to look at the heart, Paris. At that time, they get to Andy's house. Both Andy and Paris seem disappointed that they're there already. And Paris thanks her again for taking care of his grandmother and gives Andy a big hug. He holds on to Andy like he knows her. And Andy gets out of the car and Paris just watches her leave and sighs. Like his heart just experienced a new feeling. Then he drives off. Well, guys, that's the end of part two, episode eight. Is it too early to say a walk, Gary? Bonjour, Paris. (laughs) <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Thank you guys for joining me. And forgive me for, I mentioned this before, but forgive me for uh, not give, getting these episodes in the timely manner that I have insomnia. But guys, Monday, um, early afternoon, I started having abdominal pain. I mean, severe pain. And I drove myself to emergency room. I didn't want to call the ambulance. I didn't want to call anybody. I wanted to go right then. Found out I have kidney stones. And I knew that pain was familiar. Guys, that's the worst pain. I mean, I compare it to childbirth. It's so bad. And the reason is, I mean, if you're in labor, people, ladies, I'm, I'm talking to you, 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 of course, you in labor and you know, at least when you're having those labor pains, there's some time in between you kind of, you know, re- regroup for the next pain. At least you get that until the, you know, the baby is right. To you know, the the crown of the baby's head is there, and then the pain is just you know, and then the baby's there. Not with kidney stones, 
it does not let up. It is that pain is relentless. So when I came home from the emergency room and then yesterday I slept all day. And I didn't, um, well, the place where I would get my medications, you know, if I have a prescription, they hadn't opened yet. So the pain was coming back. But then when I got, um, when the, when I got my medication, one of the medications, I mean, the side effects was worse than the actual conditions. I won't name the drug. I'm just going to, I'm going to just tell just a little bit of what the side effects for this one drug, what the side effects is. Let me just read this. It says that the drug may cause very bad side effects. I mean, that first sentence just took me for a loop right there. And then it said that the drug could irritate or or tear my tendons. I could have nerve damage in my arms and legs and feet and hands and nervous system. That the side effects can happen um, alone or at all these side effects can happen alone at all at the same time. That they could happen uh, within hours of taking that drugs or even weeks after taking that drug. And some of the side effects may not go away, away and may lead to disability or death. And they said, didn't talk to your doctor. <laughs> well, shoot, I'm not taking that. So, guys, I'm just um, not taking anything. I feel better. I slept all day yesterday, like I said, and... I'm coming around, but mm -mm, I don't just take things that are subscribed to me. And now, mind you, this was the emergency room doctor. It wasn't my doctor. My doctor know that I wouldn't take that. He wouldn't even subscribe it. But after reading those warnings, guys, I'm not a doctor or anything. I'm not giving medical advice, but it would be a smart thing to always read uh, the precautions and the, of the side effects when you get any medication. Talk to the pharmacist while you're there if you have any questions. Like I said, I'm no doctor, but use your common sense, people. Be very selective. I would recommend, you know, let me just say again, I have I have very little medical experience except for, you know, take taking a course in uh, medical co uh, coding and, you know, and I know the names of different medications but I'm telling you guys those side effects is worse than the kidney stones I'll take my chance with the uh, kidney stones you know but anyways um, I just wanted to mention that to to say I'm gonna I'm going to um, crank them out and then uh, after the 10th episode this is the 8th and I'm gonna do the 9th and then the 10th and after the 10th it's gonna be a little break because it doesn't sisters don't come back on until uh, January 8th I think it is so I will be bringing out another one of the sisters the 9th tomorrow uh, I'm going to try to crank the 10th out to uh, that day or the next day. And then there will be a break until January 8th. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate the support. And uh, until next time, uh, have a great week. And I'll see you again. Good night. <music>